I don't know about you, but I can't help falling in love with this season of Dancing with the Stars. It's Elvis night on the Disney Plus competition's 31st season, and while one star's performance wasn't quite good enough to keep them around for next week, we had a hunk of hunk of high scores this week. So let's get into it. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. Right off the bat, we have to talk about Selma Blair and Sasha's drive to Jailhouse Rock. Now, we already knew Selma was a superstar. She's taking all of this on despite the challenges of her MS. But this week, oh my God, she did a cartwheel. She's in the splits. Wild stuff. 28 out of 40 from the judges has never been so well earned. Jesse James, Decker, and Allen were technically the first dance of the night, though, with a foxtrot to trouble, and the judges agreed her legs were a big improvement this week, 25 out of 40. Jordan Sparks and Brandon Armstrong were such a blast to watch with their energetic quick step to Hound Dog, but there were a few missteps, despite their confidence, earning them a 27 out of 40. Sam Champion and Cheryl Burke were up next with an elegant Viennese waltz to Heartbreak Hotel. It's clear Cheryl is a great teacher. There was a lot of improvement, 26 out of 40. Shangela and Gleb were one of my faves of the night with a quick step to shake, rattle, and roll that the judges called out as sharp, zesty, and fabulous, a great trio of words, 28 out of 40 for them. Teresa Geodice and Pasha were up next. Now, they were in the bottom two last week, but Teresa said she was really gonna bring it this week in a jive to All Shook Up dedicated to her dad. Now, it was a big improvement, definitely. It earned them a 23 out of 40, but is it enough? Daniel Durant and Britt were another pair that really wowed me with their drive to King Creole, which had to be very strategic because of the quick steps and Daniel being deaf. It was a truly amazing performance, though. They got a standing ovation, a 29 out of 40. Great work. They were followed up by Gabby, Wendy, and Val, who performed a stunning Viennese waltz to Can't Help Falling in Love, but the judges said totally swept them away. This got them the highest score of the night, a 32 out of 40. And Gabby even got a little smooch from her fiancé, Eric, which... On to Vinny Guadagnino and Coco, who really had to step it up after getting the worst score of the premiere. Their quick step to Viva Las Vegas did just that. Carrie Ann said Vinny was her favorite Elvis of the night, and they got a 10-point bump to a 27 out of 40. Charlie D'Amelio and Mark Ballas also took on the quick step to Bossa Nova Baby, and just like last week, they killed it. They got a 32 out of 40, tying for the top score with Gabby and Val. It was a bit of a different story for Cheryl Ladd and Louie, whose tango to a little less conversation contained more than just a few mess ups and earned them the same score as last week, a 21 out of 40. You are in danger, Cheryl. Next up, we had Joseph Baina and troop member Alexis War filling in for Daniela because she got COVID. Now, the last minute changeup didn't throw off Joseph, though. His Viennese waltz to Elvis's If I Can Dream was praised for being sophisticated and elegant, even if there was a lift, 24 out of 40. Heidi D'Amelio and Artem also brought it with a foxtrot to Suspicious Minds. And while there needs to be a little bit more work on the details, they got a 28 out of 40. Trevor Donovan and Emma then brought the heat with their sensual Roomba to Always On My Mind. Like, the chemistry was off the charts. The judges definitely noticed. 30 out of 40 for these two. We closed out the night with Wayne Brady and Whitney, who also found themselves tied for the top with a 32 out of 40 for their energetic jive to burning love. I mean, shocker, Wayne is always so great. And when it came down to the end of the night, we found Teresa and Pasha in the bottom again, alongside first-timer Cheryl and Lewis. So when it came down to the judges' vote, they decided to send the Real Housewives of New Jersey star packing. Oh, Teresa, we're gonna miss you. But also, it's probably for the best. You know, bottom first two weeks, it's gonna happen. I'm excited to see what happens next week, though. Who's gonna really bring it? Who's going home? Like and subscribe, we'll be following along the whole season, and head over to popculture.com for the latest in entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call.